Recently, the developers of Celeste have released Celeste 64, a reimagining of the original game as a 3D platformer from the N64 and PS1 era. The game was made in only a week, and it's astonishing what they've achieved. The game is really fun, and you need to go check it out. That being said, the game is really short. You can complete it in an hour or less, which really left me wanting more, and that got me thinking. Is it possible to mod this game? Well, yes, and in fact, it's easy. To their credit, the developers of this game have gone out of their way to make modding as simple as possible by storing all of the assets, including textures, models and music, in a simple readable format with no obfuscation. This makes it easy to make mods that replace the character, for example. But this wasn't enough for me. I want to make custom levels for this game. Well, luckily for me, the devs have made this super easy as well. In fact, they even bundled in some instructions on how to make and add your own custom levels to the game. Levels are stored as .map files and can be edited using Trench Broom, an open source map editor originally developed for source games. Here we are looking at the main map of the game in Trench Broom. Now let's add something to make sure it works. For example, let's add a strawberry at the start right here. We load up the game and can confirm it works. Perfect. There's already quite a lot we can do here. For example, adding in custom dialogue, textures and sublevels using the cassettes. I'm not yet sure if it's possible to add in custom gameplay objects, but as the game of the code is in c -sharp and is therefore easily decompilable, this should be possible, although it may take some time for people to figure it out. Let's take a quick look now at my first custom level. It's nothing special, with just 5 strawberries to collect, and can be beaten in a handful of minutes, but it demonstrates that adding custom levels is possible. We spawn in in the central area, and there's a few platforming challenges in each direction that lead to a strawberry. If you want to try the level out yourself, you can download it as well as instructions for installing the mod on my itch page. That's all for now. I'm really looking forward to creating more complex levels and investigating the possibility of adding things such as custom models and gameplay objects to levels. Let me know if you'd like me to make a more in-depth tutorial on making custom levels for Celeste 64 and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Additionally, I recently released the free demo for my cozy health plant game, Taking Root, on Steam, so make sure to go check it out. Finally, if you'd like to support the channel, you can get access to early builds of my work as well as source code and other resources by becoming a patron on my Patreon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.